person-centred visiting is an approach that we have been taking for some time now to make sure that we can have as much access as possible to friends and families of those who are needing care in hospital. We've always had a very flexible approach and if loved ones need to see a family, if it's an emergency or it's an urgent admission, the nursing staff would always accommodate that. This just allows us to make sure that we can offer that across all of our areas and indeed we have successfully implemented them across um, the whole of NHS Fourth Valley's inpatient areas. I think patient-centred visiting is a simple concept. It's essentially visiting that's tailored towards best care for patients and their families. It's as simple as that. I think obviously initially staff might have thought oh there's going to be all these people in the ward you know and it's going to impact on us you know getting on with our daily chores and what we need to do on a day-to-day -day basis all the tasks we need to fulfil but personally I don't find it's been detrimental and certainly none of my staff have fed back um, any real negative feedback to me there's none of them came and said this isn't working or this is a problem and also any patients who require assistance with their care or any assistance with their meals that their visitors can come in and assist during the times. So very positive for patients. I think there's been a lot of benefits to my sister. Um, the extending, extended opening times has meant I've had a lot more time with her. Um, it has meant that I can help her with small things like passing her her glass of water over a longer period of time. Um, it has meant that when she's feeling tired, um, I've been able to leave and go and get a drink and some lunch. Um, and But knowing that I can still come back and see her once she's had a rest. And that has to have lots of benefits to her health and well-being in the long term. I think the positive aspect for the patients has just been that they can have a bit more freedom of when their visitors are able to come in and see them um, and even have an input into some of their care on the ward if they have that input at home so coming and telling them to get washed or dressed or at times at or feeding and meal times and things um, has been an, a big impact but even for the visitors themselves if people become distressed they know that they're able to come in whenever and sit for as long as, as they need really to, to be a support there for the, for the patients. We want to make sure that we can have the flexibility and the openness but we can also make sure that we give patients rest time care time and also make sure that the families are not staying too long and getting tired themselves. Indeed, often our carers and visitors can be elderly or indeed have um, health care needs of their own. So it's about finding that balance between the kind of the conducive therapeutic environment, the, the comfort of having friends and families there to support you and give you the fortitude to um, address the illness or the recovery that you're facing, but also make sure that loved ones um, are not exhausting themselves. I think it's better than the limited uh, visiting. You know, because I see some folk maybe doing something in that the, the, that hour, or you know, and they can't get in, and they're anxious to see their, whoever's in, you know, the, a relative or a fam, family uh, member, you know, because everyone likes a visitor, don't they? I feel it's more relaxed like this, and you can come in any time, rather than restricted to a, a period that you've got to get up and get out fast. There's no, you know, nurses here can think years ago, the nurses used to come right time, visit time's over, and you had to get up there and then and go. Which is totally different now. It makes a big difference, I think. It's been excellent because it means that anybody who's working can come in at a time to suit themselves. So I've had visitors nearly throughout the day, mostly. Some people have been able to come in in the morning, and I've had visitors in the early afternoon and I've visitors in the evening which under normal circumstances would be impossible, so it's been very good. I mean, it's quite expensive petrol, but if you to come in just for an hour, whereas if he comes up, he can be here for two hours if he wanted to. Or if I get fed up with him, I could just tell him to go over the road. <laughs> Be 
being in hospital for a patient is a stressful time um, and obviously we would like them to be supported as much as possible from nursing staff, clinical staff, but having their relatives, their carers, their loved ones here with them helps to make that journey so much easier for them and cope with their actual hospital admission. I think it's trying to keep family members involved with, with the um, patient care on the ward and I think it's certainly helped us with um, trying to coordinate um, how we manage patients um, and feeding it back to both family and getting the patient involved. Especially during periods when it's really exceptionally busy um, and we do try to get the patients as much as we possibly can uh, but sometimes that can be quite challenging so having a relative with them uh, to support them who can then come and get us if they need us um, is helpful for us as well. But the positive has really been to get people up when we're doing transfer practice and assessments so families can see how they are up on their feet because they give us the best information of how someone is at home so you can get someone up and have a bit of a comparison and say well how is this compared to how you're managing at home and you get that input from relatives as well which is completely invaluable it's the key to it all to know how someone was at home and you only get that from from relatives and seeing how they are on the ward so really positive I think very simply it's improved the coordination of care and I think people understand that there's a bit more um, space to have difficult conversations at times that are convenient for individuals and, and members of their families. Because of this and spread throughout the day, you have more time to talk to the relatives and plan care and discharge your discharge planning. I think when you had your hours visiting in the afternoon you had lots of relatives to talk to within that hour. So now that it's spread throughout the day, you've got more time to discuss and plan care with your relatives. It's not like an intense hour yeah. of everybody trying yeah. to talk to you at once and like Hannah says, and you maybe don't have as much time mm -hmm. um, this way, it's everybody, it's just it's a bit more casual, it's a bit yeah. more laid back mm -hmm. and yeah. open. It's changed my communication because prior to open visiting, we wouldn't open, we wouldn't, the visitors wouldn't be here until three o'clock. So. I like to speak to the visitors as much as I can every day and there was only a limited time to do that so because the visitors are coming and going all day I have more time to do that and more time with the patient and getting to know the, the relatives better. I mean the only thing I can say about the staffing is to compare with another hospital that I was in recently which was um, like my friend it was so high pressured and the, the staff didn't have time to engage with me or my friend so the level of information was not of a good enough quality so it was a lot of pressure to extract that information and, and they just didn't have the time whereas being here today it's much more sort of again it's that word just a bit more relaxed and and I feel like it's been yeah we've had the time with the staff and had, had the opportunity to engage with them and speak to them about what's going on and and that's really important for not just us and, and hopefully my sister, but also like for the people who are back home who, who need that information. It is beneficial having the flexible visiting times when you've got questions for staff. Um, it means if they don't have answers for you, then, then you can always pop back later and uh, pick up the information you need then. But I think it's greatly improved communication with patients, relatives and families. Um, a proportion of our patients have cognitive impairment and aren't often able to give us a, a full history so having patients, family and relatives more available improves the information we get about the patient's problems and um, aspects of their care. It also allows us to be more proactive in communicating with families about what our investigations have revealed, what our management plans are and what the, the care plan is for each patient under our care so I think it really has improved um, communication in general with families and carers. It is definitely much more relaxed, it's much more informal, suits the patient better than the fact that you've got your visitors coming when it suits them, when it suits the patient and staff are able to speak to the relatives when it suits the relatives rather than the short time frame that you've got to get round all the relatives. Yeah, it's definitely, like you say, much more informal, easier to speak to relatives. 
um, I've noticed quite a difference from previous wards where it's been mm -hmm. the, set, mm -hmm. the set visiting hours. Yeah. From a, a professional point of view, I think it's been a good thing to do for our patients uh, and for their relatives. It's, you know, it's for both of them. Uh, I think it's worked well for the ward. I, I think it's worked very well. And personally, I think we could all be patients at you know, a time in our life where we're either a relative or a, pa a patient ourselves or a relative isn't a patient. Um, and I think you appreciate having the opportunity for you have to have your relatives here if that is your choice. In some ways, I maybe shouldn't say this, but I feel so sorry for the staff because they have to work round about the folk. But well, can't win them all, can you?